Thank you. Commissioner Underhill. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. As I have in the last couple of years, I um, won't be able to support the budget because I don't think it's sustainable. Um, and as we continue to talk about, um, you know, that we're not going to support raising taxes and even taking pride in dropping the taxes to the 6.616, um, uh, you know, that's a, a very libertarian tax rate, and I love that. Um, <laughs> but um, we're not governing as libertarians, and uh, so I'm going to pick one department and talk about it a little bit as far as an example. But this could be any of the departments um, and, and you know, if you look at what we've done over the last uh, couple of decades, really, uh, the road department has uh, decreased from 180 staff members to 167. And what's particularly impressive about that is that the biggest cut came in ad administration. They used to have 15 administrators. Now they only have seven administrators. Um, so they are keeping the same number of people or only small decreases in terms of the, the manpower that actually makes roads. Um, and they cut a lot of the staff, more than half of the staff that makes paperwork. Uh, so that's an impressive job of, uh, of continuing to, you know, year over year making a silk purse out of a sow's ear and, uh, you know, continuing to provide service uh, in spite of a budget that really hasn't increased over uh, the last couple of, uh, over that same period of time. So look at what their burden is and what they actually have to work on. Um, back then, uh, when they had that larger staff, they had about 30, approximately 30 miles of sidewalks that they were responsible for maintaining. Now they have over 100 miles of sidewalks. And in fact, this board is putting in new sidewalks uh, every year. We've built a sidewalk fund into our, um, uh, into our LOST. And that's the right thing to be doing. But when we build new stuff, we have to increase our budget for maintaining. And we're not doing that. Uh, also of great importance is at that time frame, uh, back when they had that larger staff and larger budget, we had 338 holding ponds that they were responsible for. Today, they're responsible for 674 holding ponds. Lower staff, lower budget, almost twice as much work. Um, county-owned lots, we you know, got no idea how many we held back, th back then, but we have 123 county-owned lots that we're responsible for maintaining. Um, we've heard from this department that they have been, that, that it takes $17 million a year of resurfacing to maintain our roads at their current status. And that's if we don't build any more new roads. Um, and that's actually if, in fact, uh, those roads, when we go to resurface them, that they have a good roadbed. And we know that that's not actually the case in a lot of neighborhoods like Shandell. Um, we also know from the Mott McDonald report that we're responsible, that if we really want to bring all of our bridges in this county, the ones that are county owned up to FDOT minimum standards, which I think our citizens are d d deserve that, that's $9.3 million a year. Um, so. When we say we're balancing the budget, uh, yes, we are balancing the budget by the legal definition of that term. But if you balance the budget by deferred maintenance, then you really aren't balancing the budget at all um, because we're not taking care of the things that I perceive to be our greatest responsibilities. So, um, you know, that, that analysis, I, I did that on every single one of the departments, and I found that we are, are, are really uh, continuing to, to say that we're balancing the budget, consider, continuing to support those political promises of not raising taxes. Um, but the reality is I don't think that we can, can realistically expect to maintain the level of expectations and the level of standards um, you know, the, that can continue to decrease every year unless we make some radical changes. Um, you know, and there will come a time, it may not be this board, uh, but if we keep doing this, when the, check, when the bill comes due for the deferred maintenance, the five people who sit on this board will, in fact, have to raise taxes if we do not change the vector that I just described. Thank you. Robert. Um, Doug, you said you, this is a few years now that you've, you're going to vote against the budget, so you've had some time to think about it. Have you brought forth any proposals on how to change that? Because I, I'm not aware of, of seeing any. No, oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it really has to start with uh, uh, eliminating any of these expenditures that we have. And again, I, I support the 6.616 mills. We have to eliminate any expenditure that is not a requirement, a core business practice of this county. Um, you know, it, but each, uh, each one of those things, of course, has a, content, uh, a constituency. Uh, decreasing the size of ECAT and taking that gas tax and putting that into our roads. I mean, we get as much money from the gas tax that goes to writing the ECAT as does goes to roads. Um, you know, that would, we would almost double our resurfacing rate by simply just pulling that part out. Now that would bring the ECAT back down to the size that it was before that gas tax was passed. Um, but that proposal has been, has, has died here on this day a number of times, um, you know, as has the uh, defunding of, um, of things like Florida West. You know, great things to have, um, 
if you have money for extra things. Uh, in my opinion, roads, infrastructure, and public safety are the things that we have to fund. If we pay for those things first, we'll find that we don't actually have a lot of money to haggle over for the other things. All right, board, if there's no more discussions, then I'd entertain a vote. If, you, if you're voting in favor, please raise your right hand. All right, seeing four, if you vote in dissent, please raise your right hand. 